Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are fine by the grace of Allah. Today I am here from Labi Ben Jafi Stag and today I am here for class 5 English version students. So dear students, today our subject is elementary science and today we will be going through chapter 5 energy and matter. So students, let's start this chapter. So students, now we are in chapter 5, energy and matter. Our last video was on chapter 4. If you want to see that video, watch that video, you can get the video from the description box. The link will be given there. Now students, at first, in this chapter, you will be able to know what is energy and energy around us and what are the forms of energy and there are some examples also. So for example like electrical energy, light energy, thermal energy, chemical energy etc. Now then our second topic will be sources of energy. What is the main source of energy and what are the other sources? And in the second lesson we will be able to know how energy is transformed from its one form to another form. And after then here you can see that how light energy transforms to electrical energy, mechanical energy to light and sound energy, chemical energy to mechanical energy. Then you will also be able to know about the transfer of energy. Here is an experiment and after that we will be, we will be able to know about the transfer of heat for, for example like conduction, convection and another one is radiation. And another topic is transfer of light. How light transfers in the form of energy. After that, our fourth topic will be the proper use and saving of energy. How we can save energy and why saving energy is important. Then we will be able to know how we can save energy. Here are some few steps. And after that, we will be able to know about the structure of matter. What is matter and how a matter is formed. You know that if you have read this chapter, you will be able to know that. Uh, if, sorry, friends. Uh, matter is made up of atoms and two or more atoms makes a molecule and what are the states of matter? There are three states of matter for example solid, liquid and gas. Now students, let's go through the exercises part of this chapter. So elementary science class 5, chapter 5, energy and matter. So at first students, we will go through some tick marks. Number 1. Which one is a mechanical energy? A. Wind B. Fuel C. Fire of stoves D. Food The answer will be A. Wind Number 2. What energy do plants mainly use to make food by themselves? A. Sound energy B. Light energy C. Heat energy D. Electrical energy The correct answer will be B. Light energy Third question. Which energy does a food contain? A. Light energy B. Heat energy C. Mechanical energy and the last one is chemical energy. So the answer will be the last one which is D. Chemical energy. Now students let's go through some short question answers. Number one. Give five examples of forms energy. Answer. Five examples of forms of energy are A. Electrical energy B. Light energy C. Thermal energy D. Mechanical energy and E. Sound energy. Number 2. What are the processes of heat transfer? Answer. The process of the three process of heat transfer are conduction, convection and radiation. Third question. How does light travel? Answer. Light travels as radiation. It does not need any medium level. Number 4. What is atom? Answer. All matters are made up of very tiny particles that we cannot see with our eyes. These particles are called atoms. Number 5. What form of energy does a guitar produce? Answer. When a guitar is played, sound energy is produced. When you vibrate the guitar strings, mechanical energy is transformed into sound energy. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. Number 1. What energy change take place when you switch on a TV? Answer. When you switch on a TV, energy is transformed into light energy and sound energy. If the TV plug is connected to a source of electricity, electricity flows through the plug wire to the TV. This electricity is transformed into light energy and sound energy by the components of the TV. As a result, we can watch pictures on the TV and also hear the sound. 
Now the second descriptive question. You hold a cup of ice water and your one hand, it will be once, one hand becomes cold. Your friend says that it is cold because the cold from the cup moved to your hand. Is it correct or not? Explain why. Answer. No. What my friend said is not correct. The feeling of hot or cold depends on heat going out of the body or coming into the body. Heat moves from the body of higher temperature to the one of lower temperature. We feel cold on touching the cup because the heat from our body higher in amount moves to the cup. Third question. How does heat travel when you cook rice in a pot? Answer. In liquid and gas, heat energy is transferred to the convection process. When rice is cooked, the water at the bottom of the cooking pot heats, gets heated and rises to the top. On the other hand, sorry friends, it will be other hand. The water at the top having lower temperature goes down to the bottom where it gets heated and then this heated water rises to the top. Through the continuation of this process, the heat is spread throughout the cooking pot. Rice is cooked in this way. Now our fourth question. How planting trees around house can save energy? Answer. If we plant trees around our houses, they will give us shade. Besides, trees will protect the roof and the walls of our houses from extreme heat. As a result, the environment of our houses will remain cool and the use of electric fans will be reduced. So thus we can save energy by planting trees around our house. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. Our next video will be from chapter 6, Food for Good Health. You all are invited to watch that video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.